Hello students, uh, in this video I will explain about uh, functions, uh, we already discussed about functions, uh, we know what is a function, how do we declare user defined function and function prototype, function declaration, definition and all these things we know. Uh, in this video we will see one example about a function, uh, we will solve this particular question and how can we code uh, this particular question for a function using function. So the question uh, is write a C program using user defined functions to perform the following task. The tasks are given square of a number uh, that means whenever a number is given we have to just uh, find uh, that number power 2 that is square of the number and then area of a square uh, area of a square can be uh, found out by using uh, one side side into side is area of square and then reverse of a number. So first of all we have to uh, analyze so what are the inputs required for this particular program. Uh, so for the first program first first case second case third case uh, we need only one number. So square of a number requires one input area of a square requires one input uh, reverse the number requires one input but the outputs are different. So let's uh, code this program. So just like the regular program, I'm going to start the program with the hash include statement header file. So hash include stdio.h. Then uh, our main function. So in our main function, uh, we need to call the functions. Call the functions. So let's decide what are the functions we are going to have, and what is the return type, and what are the arguments it is going to have. So first function is square function. Uh, so the square function, whenever it is called, uh, it should uh, call, it should calculate the square of the number and it should give us a value. So I'll, uh, I'll decide uh, the return type of the function is void. This function is not going to return anything. And uh, then this function name, I'm going to decide user defined function. So you can decide our own name. So square is, my, is the user defined function name. And then uh, this function accept one argument uh, because we need a single input to calculate the square of the number. So one argument is declared inside this function. So uh, another second for the second option, I have to calculate the area of square. So area of square uh, second function I'm writing. So this function, uh, this function whenever it is called, it has to calculate the area of function, area of the square, and then it has to return the result to the main function. So for that. Uh, it, it has to return so the return type is integer then uh, the name of the function is maybe area I can give the name as area and once again it is going to accept one input that is integer. The third function uh, it is a reverse of a number so I can name it anyway uh, so it is going to be uh, integer uh, it is not going to return anything so void and then the function name is reverse uh, then this it is also going to accept one fun, one uh, argument so integer so three functions I have declared here so square first function name is square second function name is area third function name is reverse so then uh, we have to uh, call the functions and we have to pass necessary input to these functions so let's uh, declare a variable so that we can get the value from the user and we can pass the value to this particular functions as argument. So I'll declare uh, the variable uh, number uh, to get the input from the user to pass apply to all these functions and then this function is returning a value. Uh, so for that I'm going to declare another variable. So whenever a value is being returned from a function we have to keep another variable to store the output. So a, a r maybe a is a value or area of square I'll, I'll write like this a area so I'm just writing like a area so these two variables I declared then uh, just like uh, the regular uh, method I'll just get the values from the user enter a number and then my scan of statement this a number and then uh, I have to call the functions. So first I'll call the square function. So square function is not returning any value. So I can directly call the square function like this, the name of the function and the arguments has to be supplied. So argument is number. So this function is getting called and whenever that is getting called, the output will be calculated and it will be printed through the function. So the next function call, 
uh, that is uh, area function which is going to return a value so whenever that function is returning a value then I have to call the function using a variable uh, that means uh, whenever it is going to return a value the value should be returned to a variable so that we can be store the value so area a area is equal to um, the function name area and then we are supplying the parameter that is number so once it is calculated I am going to print the uh, area the area of square is percentage d I am going to print it print the output of uh, this calculated function will be stored in this area so that I am trying to print here area and then my another function I'm calling that is a reverse function. So reverse function does not return any uh, any fun any value. So I can directly call the function like this: reverse of uh, number. The parameter is passed. So now uh, this is function declaration. These three are function declaration, and these are all function calls. And right now I have to define the function. So whatever functions are declared here, all the function must be defined. So I'll declare the define the functions. So the first function I'm defining it is square int. So here I have to declare uh, the formal parameter. So I'm declaring the formal parameter as n. Then the function definition I'm writing. So function definition I just need to find the square of the number. So I'll declare a variable uh, int uh, x maybe x is equal to n star n. So whatever the value user is enter it is n n into n. And then I'm just printing the number print of uh, the square of the number is percentage d uh, it is x so x is being printed there uh, I'll just give a slash in after printing the values uh, then the second function I'm going to define so this function is int area so it return type int area is a function name and the formal arguments int n uh, you can give n here and n there in different functions also we can use because these are all local variables for that particular function. So in this function it is going to calculate the area and it is going to return the area value. So it is not going to print anything in this function so directly I can return the area. So area is equal to n into n once again side into side or n into n. Maybe I can for meaningful names I can make it a side so side into side. side into side. So side into side is the area of uh, square. So that value is being returned and then that will be stored here and will get the output. So uh, the first uh, function output and the second function output both are almost same. Then the third function that is reverse. So re void reverse of int uh, n. Then uh, we have to write the program here. So in this program to find the reverse of a number we need certain uh, variables like uh, whenever we are finding a reverse first of all we have to divide it with uh, a variable 10 so we'll get a reminder to store the reminder I'm having a variable rem and to store the reverse of the number I'm having another variable that is rev uh, so then we are using a while loop uh, while uh, n is greater than 0 if it is greater than 0 then we can perform the following operation that is uh, n reminder is equal to we have to take the remainder of the number so the remainder is equal to uh, number modulus of 10 so so that we can get each and we can divide each and every number so for example if the number is 512 so the last digit I'm taking and then I'm going to store it in a variable called reverse so reverse variable is going to hold the value so how can we store it we have to store it in this way so reverse into 10 plus uh, the reminder whatever reminder we are getting so that it can be stored in the reverse order so here reverse variable should be initialized to 0 and after this calculation uh, we are we have to change the n value so n, n is equal to um, n is equal to n divided by 10 so each and every time this will get calculated and finally the output will be in reverse the reverse number I'm going to print so print of the reverse of the number is percentage D or EB. 
So this is how we have to write a program by using um, by using a function, user defined function. So in this program, uh, we have three functions and the function calls and these are function definition. So let's see the output of the program. I'm using an online compiler to execute this program. So I'll copy paste the program to the online compiler. Um, So these functions, declaration and everything is available. Let's see what's the output we are getting. Well, there is no error in this program. So the function uh, is executing. The, it, the function execution will start from the main function and uh, then it is going to execute the variables, uh, variable allocation, then enter a number. So it is currently is executing this line, enter a number. So I'm giving an input. Uh, I'll give the input as 512. So 512 is my input. So 512. Then, then as soon as I'm giving the input, uh, it is going to call this function. It is going to print the value of uh, the square of the number, uh, area of the square and reverse the number. So everything are going to get executed. I'll, I'm going to get three outputs now. Let's see. Yeah, I'm getting three outputs. So 512 square is 512 into 512. That is 262144. And area of the square is also the same thing. And the reverse of the number is 215. So I'm getting three outputs. So the function call, function definition and everything is properly executed and I'm getting the output. So this is how we have to solve any program which is given. So user defined functions, uh, can we can give any user defined name, and the number of parameters we have to decide based on the program and we have to call the functions uh, from your main function and it, it can be solved like this. Thank you. We'll see uh, another program in the next video.